Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting a Polish classic when it comes to barely audible yet bulldozing awesome gore metal. It's grindy, carcass influenced, but at the same time, this band also helped launch a lot of other bands when it comes to gore. And that is Poland's Dead Infection with their sophomore 1995 full length, a chapter of accidents. Yes, this is a bootleg, but thank you to Last Ride Distribution for being rad enough to just send this to the channel. 18 tracks of almost inaudible bulldozing gore. It's fucking great. If that's what you like. If you don't like your metal this gnarly. I know that's not for everybody. It's very, it is noisy, but that's what to me gives this like a little bit of charm to it and an extra bit of heaviness because this is a bootleg. So, and it's a 1995 bootleg, I think, or it might be 97. I forget. I know this is a bootleg though, but um. Look at this thing. It's fucking sick. Like, I actually really like the way it sounds, to be honest with you. Like, it just sounds fucking the way it's meant to sound. Nasty. Like, I read in a review, Dead Infection, A Chapter of Accidents, makes Carcass Reek of Putrefaction sound like lullabies. Now, would I go that far? No, but Dead Infection definitely give early carcass. They use the formula, and yeah, I... as See, this is where it's like, alright. I love carcass up until even heart work, just because of the guitar playing. When it comes to melodic death metal, that's probably the number one death metal record now you can say but now what about dissection storm of the lights bane is it melodic death metal or is it black metal fuck it's black metal in my opinion but i know there's some people out there that consider dissection a death metal band so it's like, fuck, you know, 
some people, that's just their opinion, you know, man. But in all reality, like, they kind of have a point. There's parts that, you know, you could tell that they shared a practice space with at the gates, which they did. And supposedly somewhere out there, there's a band that existed with John from Dissection and a couple other members from, like, At The Gates. Like, I think they had, uh, like, Tomas on vocals, even. I I'm not 100% if this is true. I don't know that much about it. I just remember back in, like, 2000, when, when John first got out of jail, uh... And they made that weird EP that I know some of you like. It's called, like, Rev Reckonis or something. I don't fucking even... Or, like, I think it's Malakalai or something. I don't know. It's weird, and it doesn't sound like Dissection. Like, the whole rebirth of Dissection thing, I was not feeling it. But, yeah, I would have went to go see Dissection live in New York if Johnny would have been allowed in the country, which I knew that was not going to happen. Like, there was no fucking way, and sadly, you know, he took his own life, but... According to him and his views on, you know, the Lord, be the Lord below and everything, he accomplished everything he needed to in his life. At that point, there was nothing else he wanted to accomplish. And yeah, he took himself out when he felt he was at his highest, I guess. I mean, they had just done those like dissection reunion shows and everything they were trying to get stateside, and he pretty much went as far as he could have went. I just wish they would have reissued the classics on vinyl properly back then. Because that Black Lodge reissue of the Somberlin, what the fuck were you guys thinking? That thing is horrible. I mean, the, I, I think they did another reissue that's official that... It's on two LPs, and it doesn't sound like bullshit. Because, oh, I was furious when I got the uh, Black Lodge version, and I saw that there was, like, seven tracks on the A-side and, like, four on the B-side or whatever the fuck it was. It was just a goddamn mess, and it sounded like shit. It was expensive, too. And it didn't even have the Necrolord cover art. It was just the Dissection logo. But on the back it said cover art by Necrolord. And it was just bullshit. But with Dead Infection here, I know some of you, when it comes to the real life gore, you're not really a fan. Is that Bud Dwyer? If you are a fan of, you know, looking at gore photos and sick shit like that i'm honestly curious is this bud dwyer like i'm being serious if you don't know who bud dwyer is i'm sure they took his suicide video off youtube but it's probably still on there because that's a classic like historical video i mean but um you get 18 tracks of just absolute bulldozing, barely audible fucking gore grind. And it's done so fucking good. There's death metal elements. It has everything. Like, but mostly it has filth. And coming from Poland, this is just an awesome fucking album. All 18 tracks, just disgusting. And again, so many bands have taken a page from Dead Infection's book, which originally comes from Carcass, obviously. And we have Jaro on vocals, Male on guitars, Tocha on guitar and bass, and Cyan on drums. I'm kind of curious as if a pitch shifter or anything was used vocally, or if this is all natural. Like, some sounds like it's shifted, but then I'm like... Like, right there sounded shifted. Yeah. 
So, it's fucking awesome if you've never heard it before, but I know a lot of you have. And the reason I know a lot of you have heard this is because I've been getting non-stop requests to go over it. And here it is. A nice bootleg of a chapter of Accidents from Dead Infection. I actually like the way this bootleg sounds, and I'm not just saying that, like, I honestly do. I have no idea what record label put this out, but Last Ride Distribution sent me a copy, and all I can say is thank you, because, you know, this is something I don't really see a lot floating around online. Sometimes you'll see the vinyl version, like, available, and, uh... I've never seen the cassette available, so, like, this is something that it just sounds like, you know, it would probably sound awesome on vinyl, but, like, that extra little bit of, like, tape rumbliness, it makes it sound so much heavier and just grosser. I know that's not really a word, it would be, like, more gross or something, but... It's fucking sick, vomit-inducing. Make sure you have your barf bag ready, because this is going to grind your fucking intestines in. Fuck yeah. From Poland's Dead Infection with their sophomore non-slump, a chapter of accident, Dead Infection. I don't even know what label put this out originally. I think it was Morbid Records. And I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, I apologize. But Self Made God reissued this, I think, on CD. I don't know if they gave this a vinyl reissue. But if they did, you know, I'll put the Self Made God link in the video description. But I have no idea where you can score this on cassette zero but again 18 tracks some of a lot of them sound the same and i'm not gonna just lie <laughs> like they do they it's just the way it is when it comes to gore there's a lot of similar like a lot of bands also kind of sound the same but at the same time there's a lot that sound like nobody fucking else but when it comes to dead infection dead infection you might listen to this and be like, wait, that sounds like blank, 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 and blank. But the reality is blank, 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 and blank sound like Dead Infection, who sound like Carcass, Regurgitate, etc., etc., etc. And I think it's fucking sick, because, like, you know, although this comes from Poland, there's also an obvious... influence like anything gore related during like the mid 90s early 90s you have to go back to these releases and you'll understand like some of the vocal choices stuff like that but mostly i would say carcass and regurgitate yeah early regurgitate like and you might notice too with um regurgitate look at the cover art for carnivorous erection and then go look at the first sanga sugar bog music video for their new album and you might recognize a little penis monster that i used to definitely have on a t-shirt pretty bad taste but i'll tell you what's not in bad taste Dead Infections, A Chapter of Accidents, Polish, Bulldozing, Noisy, Gore. I love that stuff, and I have to thank Last Ride Distribution for making it happen. Hails again to Sheep's Bay Cult Eternal. They make some of the most comfortable, nice fucking limited clothing out there. Like, seriously, fucking awesome. And Sheep's Head Bay Cult Eternal. For some of you that are placing orders internationally this week, 
You're getting some goodies, like serious shit here. Now, not only are you going to get a horns and hooves condom, but, oh yeah, we're going the Sheep's Head Bay cult route. We definitely have holographic stickers for a cursed womb, but you might get yourself a flat, a flat bush death crush mock-up sticker. Sheep's Head... <laughs> Sheep's Head Bay Cult logo. Ah, oh, I forget who did. The, I forget who designed this. I like. Uh, for some reason, I thought the. Uh, I'm sorry. I always love, love, love that logo and having it on a T-shirt. It's fucking awesome. Having two separate hats now. Stoked. Listen to horns and hooves. So good. And if you're gonna put a Calvin peeing sticker on your truck. This is the one to do. <laughs> it's the best sticker ever. Calvin pissing on Christ. And this is one of the f my wish list items. This is some dungeon synth from... Um, the LP says Expansion Abyss and the cassette says Dungeons Deep. I know Dungeons Deep has the cassette and the LP available. It's, um... It's like... Neo-Medieval Fantasy Ambient Dungeon Synth. It's, uh, the third full length from, uh... I think it's Malef? Malet? Uh, yeah, it's... It's, uh, Malet. M A. L-F-E-T. Like, he did live performances at the Dungeon Siege festivals and even toured alongside Mortiz. But, like, this is the cover. I've been trying to get my hands on this. If anybody wants to do a trade, donation, anything like this, please DM me. We also have some very fucking gnarly, rare set lists, which I'm not going to show you from who, but yeah, they are extremely rare. Like this one here is from a set in Brussels, Belgium in 2019. This is October 2017 in New, Me in, not New Mexico, in Mexico City. And here we have Skid Row, Los Angeles. Looks like a house show or something. And there's also a nice True Appalachian black metal sticker and a Casmal Mirror demo flyer that you'll get as well. There's a lot of good stuff, trust me. That's not just it. And also, I will personally be selling, if anybody skateboards, PJ Lad's Wonderful Horrible Life has only been played twice. Otherwise, it's brand fucking new. Look at it. Look, the logo is perfect. Even the fucking case is perfect. Not a reissue. This is an original. So, if you skateboard, or if you're even a fan of skateboarding, you know this video is, like, fucking historic. And, yeah. We can either do a trade, or you can buy a copy. But, when it comes to a cursed womb, like I said yesterday, you can buy our shit internationally. So, go buy a t-shirt. Go buy the Second Press CD. The Vermin Genosis Second Press is on its way for you tape heads in the States that don't want to order from Molten Face for some reason. But the Verminosis version is going to be different as there's a sound engineer working on it as we speak, which is fucking awesome. But I'll tell you what else is awesome. Fucking dead infection, a chapter of accidents, get into it. Bulldozing, noisy, Polish gore.
from 1995. Thank you again to Last Ride Distribution and you maniacs at home for watching. You fucking rule. Hells. <laughs>